Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks, and this is part two of the video series on how to speed up uh, list views, in, especially with hosted applications, so something like FileMaker Cloud or AWS. And in the previous video, we demonstrated kind of how you can have a really slow list. So if you sort records and you have an unstored calculation that sums up the total of an invoice, for example, how you get dialog boxes like this, um, that say summarizing records and how the speed flipping from page to page is really slow because FileMaker is doing what looks like a very simple calculation over hundreds of times in a row to show you your data and how to, how to address that. Okay, so if we look at our structure, we see uh, a field like this one, sum invoiced. Uh, and total invoiced slow is what I've named it here, which is a simple summary function that just adds up data from two tables away. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. I'm going to make a new field called total invoiced fast, and it's just going to be a plain old number field, and we're going to set its value uh, coming up in a minute. Okay, so if I do that and I click OK, uh, now I'm going to modify my layout um, to change it so that the field that's showing here is the one called total invoice fast. And I'm going to make one other change. I'm going to modify my summary field to summarize the new field that I just created. Okay, so now if I look at my layout, of course there are no values yet because I haven't set them in this field, but I'll see the speed is crazy faster, 100 times faster, I don't know, some very large multiple faster than it used to be. However, there's no values yet, so how do we do that? Okay, so here's how we're going to do that. When you look at a record in browse mode, uh, we have to update this field too, by the way, I'm going to write a script trigger that's going to set this. Okay, so I'm going to click on my layout edit tool with a little pencil here and say I'm going to attach a script trigger on record load, and I'm going to write a new script. Um, well, it looks like I've already started one called Update Invoice Total. So I'm going to edit that script and see what it's doing. And it's just going to be doing one very simple thing. It's going to set the newly created field that I just made. And it's going to set it to a calculation, which is basically what I have on the clipboard. Um, it's the same function that summarizes the line items, the price from the line items table. OK, so I'm going to save that. And now what's going to happen is every single time I visit a record, every time I merely browse on a record, it's going to set that value. So when I'm interacting with my database, this runs so fast that I don't even know it's happening. Uh, right? So if I like went to my list and find all my records for Oregon, for example, scroll to the top or you know, sorted them first, and then I went and started clicking through my records one at a time, it's actually running that script so instantly that I don't really even see it. Um, but now if I click on my company list and went to that other list, um, all the values are now there, and I didn't see the sort dialog box, and the speed that I interact is super fast. So this is, this is a really good way to do it. It comes with one caveat, though, which is that you have to make sure that anything that can change the contents of an invoice, so anywhere that you can actually edit the price of an invoice, um, the number of line items, anything like that, you have to make sure that this, this trigger script runs to update everything. Um, so for example, if I say this is going to be $1,000, um, so that's going to drop the price, and maybe, oh yeah, I wouldn't have paid $1,280. Um, so I go back to the company, the total for this now is going to change. And it actually did because it got changed when I viewed this particular record. But if I didn't come back to the invoice, like if I change this one and I change it to 500, um, if I didn't return back to the company, but I just like went home, then that invoice won't have, or the, the total for the customer would not have been updated. So that's one thing you really have to sort of think about with this technique. But other than that, it's a great solution to the problem. Thanks very much for your time watching this video.